Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. No, I'm not going insane. I'm just trying to open this plot. Yeah, you've probably been in this situation before trying to open up a plastic package because you want to get it the goody inside. The problem is is that you've probably sliced yourself on a plastic package before. I've done that several times, and each time I do, I get more and more upset with the growing trend of manufacturers, you know, wrapping their product inside one of these plastic diddly bops. So that's an official term, by the way, diddly bop. You don't really use that word a lot. Um, you know, try to work it into a, a sentence today if you can, diddly bop. Trust me, the other person will understand exactly what you're talking about. So here is uh, the open it, that's the name, and its job is to basically do this. Wow, that's exceedingly simple. Seriously simple. Like, you know, you don't want to use just regular old scissors because regular old scissors weren't necessarily built to open up plastic packages. But the open it, on the other hand, well, now it's on the other hand. <clears throat> the open it was purely designed to help you open packages, whether they're plastic or if I lock the latch, and so now it's sitting like this. I can flip out a, a blade, a little razor blade, and then open up a box with it, you know, instead of pulling out the box cutter. It's kind of like an all-in-one device. They call that a, a retractable knife, by the way, and they even say retractable knife right there on the open it. And they even say open it and enjoy it. So that's kind of nice. And they also have in here, if I open it up a bit more, they've got a, a small precision screwdriver right there. Uh, I don't know if it's going to fit all your needs, but you never really know when you're going to need an extra precision screwdriver. So they throw that in there as well. I mean, they might as well. They're not really using the space for anything else. So the grip is quite comfortable. Uh, I'd imagine that it's good for those of you who are left-handed or right-handed or ambidextrous. I know you're out there. I know you ambidextrous people. And that would be people who could use either hand. doesn't really matter. See, now, I'm glad I'm just right-handed, because if I was right and left-handed, then the chances of me cutting myself would be uh, twice as high as they are normally with my right hand. So, uh, in just trying it here with the, a device that I'm a, about to review in the next video, uh, a power converter, uh, I, uh, I'm having a very easy time with it. Of course, the uh, power converter uh, package here uh, happens to be one of those that easily pulls apart. It's not the point. I wanted to illustrate the fact that the open it does work. It's certainly a, a tool that I would recommend just in the brief time that I've been using it. In fact, I used the retractable knife earlier to slice through the packaging for that came with the box for another product that I'm going to be reviewing, uh, a NAS uh, device from, what is it? Hang on. Synology. Sorry, I had to look. I had to tip my head to the side because I threw the the box on its side as I'm, you know, kind of putting it together right now. That'll be coming up tomorrow. Uh, so the open it works quite well. Uh, uh, so, you know, something that uh, you're going to want to have because inevitably you will bring a product home that's going to be wrapped in plastic. And instead of cutting yourself or trying to use regular old household scissors or a knife or X-Acto or something and then taking a trip to the hospital, you might as well get a product that was specifically designed to help you open packages. Open it with open it. Got to appreciate that. So my email address is chris at perilla.com. Maybe you share my frustration with opening plastic packages. Maybe you know of another device or maybe you have some tips and tricks uh, when it comes to dealing with plastic packages. Of course, I wish any of you well if you've ever sliced yourself on one. I think I've, I've done a video on that. Uh, it's been a while since I did that. Uh, but I know I've talked about that before because it, it, it's happened to me and it hurts. It really, it cuts deep. Not so much the controlled blade, but the uncontrolled sharp edges of a partially or maybe even fully open plastic package. Huh, you gotta deal with it, so you might as well have a tool for the job. Now, if you wanna stop by the chat room, you're more than welcome to. We're typically talking tech, uh, software, hardware, services, you know, things that can help us get through the day when it comes to dealing with things that we got to deal with. I mean, this isn't very technical, but it helped me open something that's potentially somewhat technical, and I think that's kind of exciting. Maybe I, 
I get excited over the small things, you know, like opening plastic packages. I lead a sad, miserable existence, and you're feel, uh, or I'm sorry, you, uh, you are more than welcome uh, to uh, stop by. I was going to say feel free to stop by, but it came out kind of wrong. Go figure, I make mistakes all the time, but if you want to catch my next mistake, you're more than welcome to swing by. Top by the chat room, say hello, and watch the live stream at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.